Are we live? I think we we are live. What is up, guys? We're gonna play some more games. Just want you guys to file in a little bit. Get up in here, up in here. We're gonna play a little bit of the games. Wait for some of you guys to file file in here. So was it Thursday? Thirsty Thursday? Yeah. Holy fuck. This week is going by quick, ladies and gentlemen. Super fast. Super fast fucking week. WrestleMania season is upon us. What's up, Timothy? Yes, my hair is long. I actually trimmed it. It was actually down past my butt uh, this past July, but I trimmed it. What's up, Mugen? Number one talentless hack. What's up, Spectacular Webhead? What's up? Juicy Booch. Calamity says, thank God got WrestleMania in the Eclipse. The Eclipse is scary. I think the Eclipse is kind of scary, and I'll talk about it in a little bit. This, the, the Eclipse is a little worrisome. What's up, Maddie? You and Jay should collab. Uh, yeah, he's approached me about it, uh, but I know right now he's doing his own thing. We're talking about Jay Hooft, right? JKBJ. Uh, he's approached me about it, and he's mentioned it, saying eventually he would like me to come on and... Uh, talk about stories and stuff. Uh, but right now, I think he's doing his own thing, trying to get on his own footing and stuff, which he's doing pretty good. Uh, really happy for him. Uh, if you guys haven't smashed that like yet, as you are uh, folding in here, as long as you guys are coming in, smash that like button. It looks like we got about 17 people in here. Smash that like. If this is your first time, let me know by pushing one in the chat. Don't be shy. Let me know if this is your first time coming in here. And, uh, yeah, I stream most nights, uh, 9 p.m., 10 p.m. Central Time, so it would be like this time. What's up, Robert? Timothy, am I still beefing over you, Tech? Um, yes and no. I'm fucking not even paying attention to him. I really don't give a shit. He has me blocked. I, I haven't made a video about him, like, in a week. So I'm just not, I'm not worried about it. Like, it, it was stupid beef. I don't know if you guys saw. Uh, I posted a video today. Uh, Keemstar came into my live stream last night, and he called me on Discord. And we had a phone call, actually, live live on the stream. And uh, I gave my side of things, and I talked, and he gave me his opinion on stuff. So it was really interesting, actually. I was not expecting uh, Keemstar to call in and talk about stuff. So... If you guys hadn't seen that yet, it was the video I posted uh, earlier today. Let me go ahead and uh, link that to you guys. And I wanted to plug a couple other things, too. Um, I, I don't usually plug all my shit, but uh, I'm going to start doing that. Like, I have a Discord I want to plug, and I have a Reddit community that I want to plug. But if you guys haven't watched the video... Check it out right there. What is up, Phil? What's up, Word Up Russia? So th the reason why the uh, eclipse is creeping me the fuck out is because you're seeing like all these news stations say stuff like make sure you get your water and your food, uh, <laughs> make sure you don't go anywhere if you don't need to. Like they're literally describing it like like it's the zombie apocalypse, but it's just a a solar eclipse. Like, I've never seen, like, in the past, any other times we had, like, different eclipses and stuff where the news and, like, everybody's, like, giving all these precautionary warnings and stuff. Like, it's some kind of, like, natural disaster. It's it's actually kind of scary. And then you, you see, like, rumors of people, like, in CERN, like CERN with the, uh, the collider or whatever. Um, I think uh, <laughs> I just – I'm one of those people where you – I believe where astrology and paranormal stuff combine and when you're messing with like the CERN collider and all that, that you could uh, open a portal to hell and you see all that weird stuff. Like it's, it's a little weird. Y2K. What's up, Hazy? This is where the talent, talentless hacks are chilling. Your preps are making sure your handheld systems are charged. The power could go out. You don't think Eclipse causes that unless you got solar. You're going to the path of totality. <laughs> I mean, when there are rumors of like solar flares causing everything to like go out, it essentially would be like a like almost like an EMP, and there'd be like no internet and stuff like that. 
What's up, Switch Critch? So, wow, we got 31 people in here, 15 likes. Smash that like if you haven't. Don't be shy. Feel free to talk. Feel free to come in and chime in, ask your questions. Um, if you haven't ever seen me on a stream before, I'm usually on like at this time of the night, most nights. Red Heifer, CERN, Rumors of War. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of scary stuff. Guy, Guys who worked at CERN created the internet and also Brave Browser. Dude, CERN's pretty scary. What's up, Fire Tony? Why did I change my name to ABE? I did that almost two years ago. Um, I did it because I was tired of people going... You're not eight. You don't play eight bit games. Why are you called eight bit Eric? You don't do retro. It's just eight bit. And it's like eight bit Eric is my nickname. Okay. That's, that's not what I do for content. It's my nickname. So it's like my, my slogan, you know, like somebody, what if somebody's nickname is like the stinky cheese man? You know what I mean? Um, but I just got tired of people saying like, why do you say you're eight bit Eric? You don't play eight bit. So I just changed it to like 8BE because I don't want people to think that I'm just a, a retro channel. And yeah, it is 8-inch Eric as well now, confirmed by Boogie. I don't know if you guys saw on Local Live. He uh, he gave me a props. He uh, he actually came out and you know said that I have a big wiener, and he's not lying. I'm 8-inch Eric, guys. Yes, Witch Critch, he came in pretty late. If you guys haven't seen, I posted the video. Right there. CERN supposedly opened a portal to hell. Yeah, I saw that ritual that they do outside. And they have that Shiva statue too, right? Like CERN, CERN's creepy. How many of you guys push one in the chat if you know all like the rumors and speculation about CERN? CERN is like some wild stuff. It's it's pretty creepy when you take a good look at it. And uh, in between us talking and stuff, I'm going to be... Uh, Checking this game out. I got a code for this a while back. It's called High Water. They sent me this code. I'm finally just getting to it. They asked me today. They were like, um, they were all like, oh, uh, are you ever going to play the game that we sent you? So I'm like, yeah, we will. What's up, Jason X? What's up, Den of Tims? Spectacular Web Hub, they've always said that. <laughs> That's like one of the oldest uh, insults. What's up, Juicy Booch? The ring of fire will be visible from the path of to oh nice. Paranormal stuff is a lot of fun. Um, you know, South Texas does have some pretty good paranormal stuff. Um, there's a uh, like just from me. Can we get a hashtag eight inch Eric in the chat? Yes, for Mugen. Mugen's asking, can we get a hashtag eight inch Eric in the chat? So just for me, just like in South Texas, man. Uh, there's a and I know it's kind of funny when you hear the name. There's literally a bridge that is called the Donkey Lady Bridge. And it's really about what it sounds like. There's literally a, a donkey lady. Um, and there's a couple, like, rumors of how the, um, the story or the urban legend has come to, like, uh, uh, like you know, be a legend. Uh, and I don't know if they did a movie about it or not. There might be some donkey lady movies. Uh, it's kind of like the Yarona. If you guys have heard about the Yarona, which is the crying, like the crying woman. Uh, the rumor, the rumor with the donkey. And it's not, it's not a donkey show lady. Let's get that clear. All right. We're not talking about Mexico with like donkey shows. What's up, Luminaria? So the, the story is, is that she was like a, a witch. What's up, Ruby? The story is she's like a witch, and um, one of the stories is is that a lot of the townspeople didn't like her or, like, something like that. So they basically trapped her inside of, like, her house and, like, set it on fire, like, Freddy Krueger style. And, like, um, her donkey, like, she melted and, like, like her, her hands, like, burned and melted into, like, hoof shapes and she became like disfigured so she haunts like that bridge and you can't go by that night or else like she'll throw rocks at you and stuff that's like one of the stories another one is that people she was an old lady that was minding her business and people threw her donkey overboard and she like cursed them and stuff like that what's up gosward jason x loves texas frisco's pretty cool frisco's fancy though frisco's like brand new texas so yeah, if you guys ever like Google, I might I might try to look up Donkey Lady. 
and then there's also like the the Yarona, which is like um you know, scary <laughs> like like a scary woman that haunts like the um the uh the rivers of like South Texas and Mexico and things like they that. Here I'm gonna pull it up real quick. Let me see if I can pull it out. Just so you guys could from the inside. Take a quick gander. That aid has been halted and stressed that delivery of humanitarian so this is uh, affected areas outside. Of the this city. is something right here. I'm pulling up about the Donkey an Lady Bridge, and that's the actual bridge. Officer Central Command also issued a statement to the public. That so yeah, it's um. Decades ahead, and not to worry about these inconsequential delays. It's like uh, one of the rumors of of San Antonio area, the Donkey Lady. I know it sounds stupid, but. Look it up if you haven't if you haven't heard of it. Yeah, the Yorona drowned her kids. Yeah, so y'all have heard of that. What's up, Crush? Well, I appreciate that. Hopefully, you stick around. You know, I I I know there's been a lot of new people around here. I hope you guys stick around past whatever the drama is. You know, I'd I'd like for you guys to uh stick around and not just be here just because of the drama you know I'm, I think I'm a lot more than just that but I get it I get it so this game looks interesting I do like the aesthetic I don't know so much about the music but I could get behind it could you imagine if the world flooded like this what's up Natsu ladies and gentlemen Natsu's here he says birds and I, I don't have a I don't have a bird sound effect, but birds. <laughs> Could you imagine though, dude? Like water scares the fuck out of me. Juicy Botch says cats. What about dogs? I'm a dog guy. I'm not too into cats. Birds I could fuck with, but if they're like scary birds, you know, if they're like scary birds, I can't get it. I can't fuck with it. Like. Like, I wouldn't try to have a falcon or even, like, a parrot. <laughs> like, like some parrots are pretty scary. Snakes and geckos, I could fuck with. I could fuck with lizards. Um, snakes, not so much. Uh, fun story. Fun 8-bit Eric story. When I, was, when I was a kid, like a baby, like a toddler, I was bit by a rattlesnake. Legitimately. I was bit by a rattlesnake when I was, like... Two or three. What's up, Badwick? How you doing, dude? Good to see you here. Uh, when I was two or three years old, I was bit by a rattlesnake. Legit. Of course, I don't remember. I was like two or three fucking years old, but yeah, I could have fucking died. And then we wouldn't be here and we wouldn't be having me dancing to Exposed and twerking on stream and, <laughs> you know, having silly stories and stuff. How's everybody doing, by the way? I know some of y'all came in and I didn't get to say hi. I think I saw Crush come in here. Tim's, Ruby, Verducci. The serpent got his fangs in me. Dude, I wish I could have gotten, like, some Spider-Man superpowers from, uh, from getting bit by a snake. That would have been pretty cool. I'm sure it fucking sucked. This game is weird. Can we stop having the weird singing? Looks like it's going to be like an artsy fartsy game. I've been the snake man since. Appreciate that, Crush. Thank you so much. Guys, if y'all haven't smashed that like yet, I know it's corny to hear uh, YouTubers say, smash the like, share it, comment. Uh, but yeah, if, if you guys can, please, uh, that help out. Also, if you share the stream out or any of that crap, even just you guys being here and saying hi uh, is a big deal. What? So what am I doing? Am I playing NBA Jam or is it just pick up bag at Gortzunians? What's up, CDN? You're listening to High Water Pirate Radio. The Discord's dope. So you're in the Discord? Guys, I've started coming into my Discord for a while. I was, um, what's up, Maestro? For the longest time, I was kind of neglecting my Discord, but now there's a little bit more people in there using it and, uh, and talking. Thank you, Ruby. That's so sweet. 
Ah, spectacular webhead. You fucking did it. You fucking did it. Thinks he's fucking... You think you're clever. It's going to pop up, but I see it. Spectacular webhead. Can I get a hashtag spectacular webhead in the chat, ladies and gentlemen? He put 8-bit Eric. You're not playing a retro game. You got me. You fucking got me. I'm not playing a retro game. <laughs> I don't know why it takes forever for Super Chats to get their... Uh, get the little fucking thing to pop up. It should be popping up like right here. Do I plan on getting the new Indiana Jones game? Yes. And I am playing on uh, the Series X as we speak. No, Spectacular Webhead, you're great, dude. Thank you so much. By the way, I appreciate you coming to my defense the other day. I saw, I forget what the video was, but you commented on a video the other day defending me, and I really appreciate that. And thank you, Jason X. I see you just subscribed. There we go. You know, every time that pops up, WWE fucking strikes my video, and then I have to go back and I have to go back and mute the sound. Spectacular Webhead donated one dollar and ninety nine cents through Super Chat. Eight bit, Eric. You're not playing a retro game. Tears of joy, tears of joy, tears of joy. Yeah, I know I'm not playing a retro game. Thank you. Can I get a hashtag Spectacular Webhead in the chat, please? What's up, Tommy? What's up, Tommy? Wow, we got 43 people in here. Happy Thirsty Thursday. Appreciate you guys being here. Who's ready for WrestleMania? Push one in the chat. Classic Ted DiBiase. You're not wrong. Yeah, every time that sound plays, fucking YouTube always sends me a fucking copyright claim from fucking uh, WWE. I'm like, God damn, WWE. You don't, you don't fucking have enough money? You got to... You got to fucking claim that fucking five seconds of video, so I always have to go back and fucking mute it. YouTube's the worst, man. Yeah, I think it's going to be pretty cool. I'm wrestling on Saturday, so I'm going to miss day one. But uh, I'm pretty excited for it. Uh, I think overall the whole entire show is going to be pretty good. But, of course, you know, I'm interested in the main event. Okay, so the, there's combat in this. Grid-based combat. I don't like grid-based combat. They, I guess the only game that I really liked that ever was like this was uh, the Mario Rabbids games. Surprise, I remember your comment defending you. You really appreciate it. Let me tell you a secret about 8-Bit Eric. I am always paying attention to what my members of the ABE Nation are doing. And I'm always appreciative of all you guys. So, yes, it does not go unnoticed when you guys um, stick your necks out for me ever on anything. So I do appreciate that. What's popping, Gabriel? Do I think Bo Dallas will come back as Uncle Howdy? Yeah, but not at Mania. I'm like Santa Claus. He knows what you're doing. Yeah, I'm like Santa Claus, but I don't. I won't make you guys. I won't make you guys sit on my lap. We won't go that far. I mean, unless you really want to. Mario Rabbids is underrated. I I won't. I won't make you guys sit in my lap. I promise that. I won't be like. Uh, Come here, little boy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Come here, young man. I won't do that. Unless you really want to. Yeah, they're, they got to save some stuff for Raw after uh, after Mania, which I'm usually more excited about the Raw after Mania than anything. I think Raw after Mania... Well, last year's Raw after Mania fucking blew ass, but... Crush says, shame he wanted to sit on my lap, or... I'm sorry, I don't mean to assume that you're a he, but Crush wanted to sit on my lap. You know what? Crush the demon, even though your name says you're a demon, I will let you sit on my lap. I, w I need a soundboard. God damn it. I need a fucking soundboard. So when I say something weird or cringy, I could just click like a fucking applause button or something. I just had McDonald's, by the way. I had 
two hot and spicy McChickens for dinner and a large Diet Coke. I'm watching my figure. Sound pad on Steam? There's a sound pad on Steam? Okay, so, like, I need to find, like, a way to get, like, a good little soundboard. But it's also, like, uh, I need to figure out how to have it where I can see it. You had fried chicken. Soundboard of Rich Meltdown, says Drew. The other day, he had a couple of good little one-liners um, that I was going to use. I think uh, he was talking about P. Diddy. He was talking about P. Diddy, and I think one of the things that he said was, P. Diddy fucked me in the ass, and I was like, damn, that's clippable. <laughs> I was like, damn, that's so clippable. Usually bind them to your numerical keys. What's up, Nick? This game is called High Water, guys. So this game is called High Water, and I guess it's like a post-flood uh, dystopian... That P. Diddy stuff, though, overall, we are talking a little bit about it last night. The P. Diddy stuff is fucking wild, especially when you watch, like, the old creepy clips of, like, him and Justin Bieber. Like, there's that one clip of, uh, of Justin Bieber, like, talking to him, and he's, like, stuttering, and he's like, yeah, you don't call me no more. And, like, it, you could just see that Justin Bieber just looks, like, so uncomfortable. Like, what's life? Like, what, what? What do you think is going on with P. Diddy, guys? Can I grab this riot shield? What's up, Killa? Diddy out there taking booty hole. I mean, yeah, what did, what did Kesha mean when she said, wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy? Like, was there, like, some kind of, like, secret code there? I got my glasses. I'm out the door. I'm going to hit the city. I don't know, dude. I've always kind of thought P. Diddy was kind of, like, suspect. What's up, Melinda? I've always thought P. Diddy was kind of suspect, um, to be, to be honest, um, ever since, like, the 90s. You met <laughs> Trevor. God damn, Trevor. Oh, dude, I gotta go full screen for that. Oh, Trevor. And I just lost that fucking fight, too. Trevor said... It meant her mouth was stretched out and her butt hurt. That's what feeling like P. Diddy means. <laughs> it's going to be one of those nights, guys. We're going to have a wild night tonight. That's great. What's up, Anthony? You totally watch a Subnautica playthrough? So I tried to play Subnautica, and I got motion sick. And also, I was fucking scared because it's like underwater and shit. You think what Ashra we said before? PDD's camp is really strange. Keep his kids far away from it. Modded the crap out of it playing again. Nacho says birds again. What the F does Puff Daddy even mean? I have no clue. Trusted Texan said, what's up, 8-inch Eric? Can I get a hashtag 8-inch Eric in the chat? Did y'all see Boogie put me over? Boogie put me over like a champ. Sure, it's a little weird that a grown man saw so about another grown man's penis, but what's life? What everything in life is fucking weird, right? You know, what's what's who cares if stuff's weird? But did y'all see that? Did y'all see that clip? I'm gonna play the clip again just for you guys, cause uh, number one, he's genuinely. Oh, hold on. I uh, I like tooting my own horn. So uh, yes, you're gonna hear about my penis here real quick. Hang on. And he wasn't lying. Just 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 for full transparency, he's not lying. Okay. Eric, do not get bad at him for this. Number one, he's genuinely a good person, and I really love hanging out with him. I hang out with him two or three times a year. And number two, he's hung like a tripod. He Like a fucking tripod. He has a third leg. Unfortunately, I've seen it at a party. What? He says unfortunately, but he doesn't mean that. He is hung like <laughs> a, a fucking long John Silver. 
So honestly, he can do whatever he wants to because he has a third fucking leg. And then he talked about it a little bit more. Um, <laughs> he did talk about it a little bit more and stuff, but yeah. I mean, that's an endorsement. If I ever fucking heard of one, that's a fucking endorsement. I'm just fucking saying. Boogie hasn't seen his penis in de Ruby with the hashtag 8 inch Eric. Thank you. Hey, no. Boogie did not have it in his mouth. Trusted Texan. Boogie did not. What's up, Ryan? Ryan Old Chow, what's up? Good to see you again. Guys, Boogie did not have it in his mouth. Let's let's butt that out of the fucking let's butt that out of the fucking speculation right now. He didn't have it in his fucking mouth. What's up, Cheetah Man? Trevor says they're hung like a housefly. <laughs> Calamity, no, it was not in Boogie's ass. Dude, how hard? Never mind. I don't want to say it. <laughs> what I was about to say would have painted like a really, really weird fucking visual. By the way, I was going to send this stream to the developer because <laughs> I'm playing their game. So the people that made High Water on Xbox, um, sorry, we're going to be talking about Boogie's ass and my penis for a little bit. So I hope I hope the developer's cool with that. Any advice on growing and maintaining long hair? Uh, for me, I don't shampoo every time I shower. Uh, use leave-in conditioner. Comb it. What's up, four, do four doors down? Did Boogie ever whip out his? Um, he's never whipped it out to me, but I have seen photographic evidence of it. I've never seen it in person. Uh, no, but as far as, like, growing hair out, leave-in conditioner that you could like, spray after you, uh, you shower. Uh, I, I don't shampoo it every time I shower. If that makes sense. Um, comb it and, uh, just kind of set it and forget it. You know what I mean? Uh, I had my hair grown out for, like, um... I had my hair grown out for, like, a good five years. Uh, went to 2019 hit. I stopped cutting it and I didn't cut it until this past July and I trimmed half of it because it was it was below my butt like I have I have hair here but it was like double the length thoughts on Boogie's girlfriend don't BS I'm not going to talk wives girlfriends family members on anybody but I have met her and I think she's an extremely nice girl and she's amazing and she was very friendly she was easy to get along with and I've I've met her several times I've hung out with them in person so I'll leave it at that I like gamer nexus who's gamers nexus what am I gonna do what you gonna do good to see you again Blanca what you gonna do, brother, when Boogie2988 runs wild on you? Brother. Do I have any advice for Rich to uh, to grow his hair? Yes, try to relax your anus. We have 44 likes, guys. Can y'all smash it? Smash that motherfucking like if you're having a good time. Who's Gamers Nexus? Steve. Steve Gamers Nexus. I look like somebody, like a doppelganger. Did my game just crash? I died. I pushed A. Dude, my game crashed. Womp womp. 10 out of 10. My game crashed for trying to relax my anus. Nick says smash the like button with your anus. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, Trevor. 
What has been my favorite game so far in this generation? Rebirth. Alright, I guess I gotta fucking close the game. Fucking horse shit. Natu says birds. Cats. Dogs. Dude, I swear to God, if I gotta redo what I just did, I'm gonna be fucking mad. It looks like I have to redo what I just did. Good morning, high water. I'm skipping Japan. everything. Radio, keeping you in the know without blowing. Tried Sunken Land. Interested in early access, access game. You know what other game I've been hearing about? Dave the Diver. Gentoo says Michelle Gucci. It's Michelle so Gucci. She's so Gucci in the coochie. What's up, Puez? Will resume once an unforeseen supply chain issue has been resolved. Who's here to touch tips, by the way? To the public that Send the devs footage from the crash. Well, <laughs> not to worry about these inconsequential delays. <laughs> Send it from after the crash. They'll never hear the dick and ass. We're talking dicks and asses all day, guys. On a sunny day. Man, it's really making me do this all again. Really? Who's hotter, Michelle Gucci or Melanie Mack? Jeez, man. That's tough. Michelle Gucci's got a fucking donk on them. Like a fucking donk. Trevor says they're not gay, but they're down to, to rub tips. What's up, Steven? Large Marge sent me. Melanie's pretty hot, but crazy levels. I like crazy. <laughs> Fuck calamity. I didn't even want to fucking think about extra folds. <laughs> Damn. What are my thoughts on Tipster? I have not seen a video of Tipsters in quite some time, but I I I've I met Tipster like a few years ago in person, and he was really nice in person. Um, and I first came into contact with him like in 2012, 2013. Uh, but I haven't been keeping up with any of the, like the. Every once in a while, I'll see that he's trending on Twitter and stuff, but I haven't been keep keeping up with any of that stuff. Um, I'm not really, like, in the lore with any of the commentary orbiters and commentary channels and uh, things like that. But I met him. That's a good question. Damn, Gen, Gen 2 says 12-inch, Eric. I wish. Brody says 8-inch. Retro Schmetro says hi. This is eight inch, eight inch Eric coming to us live from the land. <laughs> eight inch Eric, that's great. Uh, so I met Tipster at a retro video game swap meet when I was living in California. I think it was like in Ontario, California, like somewhere in SoCal. And uh, he had a table there. He was actually selling video games. And uh, I was like, wait, Tipster? And he goes, wait, Eric? So, yeah, we met each other that way. Like, officially in person. But before that, I knew him online. Uh, just casually. So, yeah, it was at, like, a, a video game store. Uh, they had a swap me. I want to say the game store is called Pixel Vault. If I'm not mistaken, have you guys heard of Pixel Vault? It's a game store like in Ontario, California. I think it was that store, Pixel Pixel Vault. That sounds right. I think they own SoCal Gaming Expo now. I think they bought it from Shady J. Thoughts on DSP? Man, dude. <laughs> 
When it comes to DSP... Like... How do people watch him? Like, fuck. Like, I'm not crying that I don't get viewers or anything. There's fucking 50 of y'all here. That's fucking amazing. Like, I feel fucking honored if there's more than, like, 20 people watching me, which, thank you guys. Hey, Billy came in. Billy came in with his usual ass-eating comment. Uh, I don't know if there's ass-eating today. <laughs> um... When it comes to dark side Phil, like I'm always like, how are people even fucking watching him? Like, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? And no offense to him or anything like that, but like, I'll the only time I watch DSP is if I'm watching like Snort Hogan or Snort Snort Bornal, uh, or Duty Streams. Like that's the only time I see. <laughs> That's the only time that I see DSP content. He blocked me because I made a parody video of his May 1st cameras on incident. Um, he blocked me um, like a decade ago almost. What, the camera on incident happened like eight years ago, right? I think we're coming up on the on the anniversary May 1st. Um but yeah, I've never like directly interacted with him. I remember Alpha Mega Sin and him were like beefing on. I think I, I remember. I want to say Alpha Mega Sin. I know Alpha Mega Sin and Keemstar were fighting on Twitter at one time, and like Keemstar was asking for Alpha Mega Sin to give him his address so they could meet up and fight. But nothing came out of it. This was a long time ago. I think that some of the tweets are still up. If you look them up, just type like Alpha Mega Sin and Keemstar. Um, but I also think the same thing happened with DSP and Alpha Mega Sin. I think they were like talking shit to each other to have like a fight <laughs> like on Twitter or something. So maybe that's part of why DSP blocked me because I was probably like talking shit. I, I don't fucking know. We're talking about ghoulies? Start a B with DSP? I can't. I'm blocked. And uh, he already don't like me, so there's already some beef. Um, Brode wants to know, would I become a host of Locale if Keem paid me? Seems like you and Tommy bickering would be funny. It didn't seem like anybody wanted me on. Like, it seemed like nobody enjoyed me being on that show. So, I don't know if that would... I don't want to, like, hinder the show. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think... I don't think people would like it. Start beef with DSP and settle it with an ass-eating contest. That sounds... That sounds like something we can arrange. <laughs> Would you guys eat DSP Gaiman's ass? You partially went to get your banned by Phil Badge but not talking about his game or something else. For how much? What, what are we talking about? Why, what... Whose ass am I trying to eat? Phil Burnell's? I'm too much of a good person for that show. Like I said yesterday when Keem called, um, did you guys see when Keemstar called in to my live chat? He came in yesterday. We actually had a pretty good conversation. Push one in the chat if you saw it. I posted it today, actually. Um, I uh, clipped the segment out and I posted it as a video. Push one in the chat if you saw it. Brody saw it. I think it went pretty well, right? Oh shit, the game saved. DSP has a nasty ass. I don't know, I think DSP, he doesn't look dirty, right? Would I eat DSP's ass for a little Samson for five seconds? I guess. I guess. Clip it. 
So yeah, I, I posted it as a separate video. I think I have the link. Yeah, if you guys haven't you seen out there, the video, the you know it's going to be hairy. Nobody's hairier than me. Have you seen my arms? And my legs? Billy the Game Changers can confirm. I, I have a pretty hairy ass. I think I did something different from what I just did last playthrough because I got like a can of gas. Speaking of washing and prepping, survival tip of the day. I should pull out the NES and play Little Nemo or Blaster Master. Maybe soon we'll do like um, a retro stream soon. Maybe soon. 8-bit Bigfoot. I am not a Bigfoot. I'm like 5 foot fucking 6, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm not anything big except my fucking cock. Apparently, according to Boogie, and even Review Tech gave me props on my penis size this past week, so that's that's two people. And then Justin Silverman confirmed it too. I, I think I'm pretty well endowed. I, I don't want to like creep you guys out by going on about my my man parts, but it's uh. Thank you, D DJ D One. I appreciate that. Trying to steal my sheep, boy. How many people in total have seen it? Um, see, that's the thing. Did he see my lolly? I, I'm. I don't know. <laughs> he probably could have. Birds. Did I do something wrong here? He <laughs> Retro, that's hilarious. What's up, Megavania? Yeah, I used to make videos in my undies. Ruby's gonna say it was say once seven to eight inches of perfect. Well then I guess I'm perfect. <laughs> I'm glad I have, uh, I'm glad I have Rudy, uh, Ruby's, uh, label of perfect. <laughs> What's up, Blab? What's up, Domination Station? Perfect size club, anyone? Yeah, Brody, I'm not gonna lie, it's picked up a lot. Like, there's a lot of you guys in here. Push one. Push one in the chat if you're brand new. Uh, and I do appreciate all you guys coming. I know a lot of you guys have come from uh, the Review Tech USA videos. I know a lot of y'all have probably come from the Locale Live. Um, Ruby, you're not new. Steven, you're not new. What up, Russia? You're not new. Game Chasers, you're not new. You're listening to High Water, High Water. If you're brand new to the channel... If you've come through, like, from any of the Review Tech locale, Papa's got a brand new bag. <laughs> uh, I, I welcome you guys here. Um, that's not my normal content, but I've been trying to, you know, go a little bit outside the sphere and, you know, address stuff and things like that. But, you know, I, I think I'm still pretty much the same type of guy. And um, I, you know, I appreciate all you guys being here. Hopefully you guys stick around uh, long time, I think, you know, if you guys stick around, how many of you guys are also in, uh, the JKB discord? I know I've met a lot of you guys through that as well. Like Den of Tim's, a few of you guys, um, I definitely appreciate all the new eyeballs here. Hopefully you guys enjoy the streams and hang out. Masochist, masochist mouse says you were around when I used to hang out with Keeb. Keeb's awesome. I miss that dude. Retro says, love you long time. Natsu says, birds. You're not a fan of RTU. The Game Chasers movie was awesome, guys. If you guys haven't seen it, Adventures in Game Chasing, it's on Tubi. You can watch it on Tubi free or you can order it through GameChasers.com. TheGameChasers.com 
Um, I believe you can order it. Check it out there. Steven says they demand more Chan. I do too, but I don't think Gino Samuel is going to be doing it anytime soon. I think he's taking a break. A little lickle was the episode that I licked Keeb's nipple. Which was kind of awesome. Because that's the name of the uh, the game in Japan. Any OGs here? What? Alejandro. Hold on a second. I got to go full screen. What's up, Ghetto Finger? I got to go fucking full screen with Alejandro's comment. Alejandro Gutierrez asking, any OGs here when Eric stream with Hatchet TV and chuckles? Damn. Now that's old school. I used to do with uh, Hatchet TV, Old Married Gamer. And uh, Chuckles, we used to do videos a lot on the channel back in the day because they're, they're longtime friends that I have here in San Antonio. That is fucking old school, Alejandro. Thank you for, for being around that long, man. I appreciate that. Like, that's that's super old school. That's like 14 years ago old school. <laughs> Been watching since the first appearance in Game Chasers. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I don't know what I'm doing in this game. I'm just finding the yellow marker. 2010 was a good fucking year, guys. I don't know about y'all. I think 2010 was great. Favorite episodes when you guys climb a mountain? Dude, that, that mountain fucking sucked. It was like nighttime. And uh, it was still hot. And I still got all thirsty and shit. That lamb's name is Daisy. That's the same name as my dog. You just got back from Monkey Man? What's Monkey Man? Oh, Kim Jong Burnell. And again, I love that fucking name. <laughs> oh, I don't know why, but I just I just think that name is so fucking hilarious. Kim Jong Burnell with the super chat. Thank you so much. Can I get a hashtag Kim Jong Burnell? He wants to know if me and Jay touch tips. Are we talking about JKBJ? Are we talking about Shady J from the Game Chasers, J? I'm dead. How am I supposed to stay alive? JKBJ. <laughs> So yeah, we uh we did touch tips. <laughs> Which speaking of <laughs> Speaking of Kim Jong Burnell donated one dollar and ninety nine cents through Super Chat. Did you and Jay touch tips? Hang on, I gotta show you guys something. I announced this yesterday. I'll show you guys right now. I made a Touch Tips t-shirt. Comes in white, black, midnight navy, and royal blue. So yeah, I made I made a I made a Touch to Oh fuck, knucklehead. No, you fucking did not. So yeah, I made a touch tip shirt. Right now, it's available on my. Eighty six tipped fifty dollars. Thanks. What's up, Eric? I hope all is well, Scissor. Thank you so much. Can I get a hashtag Knuckle eighty six with a fucking very fucking gracious fifty dollar fucking dono? And I think that is almost a fucking twerk worthy fucking dono. Matter of fact, I think I will twerk to that. Give me a second. Give me one second. We are going to twerk because of Knucklehead, guys. Smash the like if you haven't yet.
What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I am just, I, I, I am completely pissed. I was gonna write a script for this video. Why am I still getting hate? Hey, what you guys, it scares here. And so from now on, I am going to report the news. Let's go inside the story. Exposed, 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 exposed. Hey, hot fucking take real quick. Hot fucking take. Hot fucking take. Whether you like Review Tech not, whether you like Review Tech or not anymore, that song's a motherfucking banger. I already uploaded that uh, the first time on my channel, which, interesting enough, Bo Blacks. Who here's heard of Bo Blacks? Push one in the chat if you heard of Bo Blacks before. Yeah, he was Brody. <laughs> Autism personified. What's up, Sponge? So last night after, I guess, there was stuff between Keemstar and Connor, um, Bo Blacks just randomly was like, let me see what the hell is going on with this Review Tech 8-Bit Eric stuff, right? And uh, he saw my video that was two minutes long saying 8-Bit Eric uh, exposes Review Tech. And uh, <laughs> it was the video of me dancing. Let me see if I could fucking pull it up. Give me a second. How do I find history? You you guys just gotta fucking watch this fucking uh, this reaction. Give me a second. Oh, here we go. Let me see if I can pull that. I don't think he was expecting this at all. But it was fucking great. Can you guys see that? Let me pull that. And, and Dude. So sorry. Literally so sorry. Dude, 8-Bit Eric's <sighs> talking shit about game apparently. No, nah, I was not. Well, welcome to... Welcome to David Eric, bro. Let me see. What does he say? Oh, Wait, shit. Hold on. Retro Schmetro. No, you fucking did not. Retro Schmetro donated $49.99 through Super Chat. Can I get a hashtag Retro Schmetro? And it looks like we are going to be twerking again. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I am just... We'll I get to the reaction in a minute. Pissed. I was going to write a script for this video. Why am I still getting hate? Hey, what you guys, it scares here. And so from now on, I am going to report the news. Let's go inside the story. Exposed. 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 Exposed.
<laughs> that song's a banger. Um, now back to what I was doing. I'm sure there's all these people like first timers here, like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I'm sure there's a whole bunch of people in here. What the fuck is this fat, hairy Ewok even doing? What the hell is going on here? By the way, I twerked twice and we only got 67 likes. Let's get them likes up. We should be like at 80 by now. Billy should do the remix. That'd be great. <clears throat> Where is... Hang on. All right, so <laughs> Bo Blacks decides to watch this because he's curious. He's like, what the hell is he exposing review tech for, right? So let's watch this. Trip for this video. Why am I still getting hate? Hey, what's up, guys? It's Scarce here. And so from now on, I am going to report the news. Let's go the fuck? the story. This is Connor and Bo what Blacks. What, what, he's... He's jock as God. He's just twerk. What the Dude. fuck? Did he practice this? <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, he's literally trying to like rape. Dude, I want drama more drama like this, dude, where they literally try to like e rape them. <laughs> he said he wants more drama like that. Why the fuck did Kim not play this on stream, bro? That's what I want to know. They should have played this when I was on locale. Because this is, guys, this is what a locale does. Twerks and dances and, and does all this cringe shit. This is literally me saying, hey, I exposed Review Tech and I, I danced to a song. I like, had nothing to do with nothing, right? <laughs> there literally was no exposure. This is literally just me being a, a jackass dancing, right? That's so good. Yeah, he's literally like slapping his ass like, what the fuck, bro? Wait, so why didn't good. the cows react to the this is nine days old? What? They're like, why didn't the cows react to this? They, yeah, they missed this. Dude, someone needs to recreate Lock out at this point, cause like Boogie, I, I want to see Boogie react to this. Like, I want, I want, but I don't know if Boogie's like he did against Ape and Eric or whoever He's not. it is. But whoever is a law cow and he did against Ape and Eric, whether it be Review Tech USA, Wings, Boogie, whatever, I want them to watch, or, or Tommy, I want them to watch this, like, ready to go, be like, oh, I bet this video is going to be so bullshit, and then they just see this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that'd be pretty cool, right? Is it hard to walk with such a big dick? No, it's not. I'm used to it. God's light says cringe. <laughs> Thank you, Retro, again. Can I get a, Did y'all guys hashtag Retro Schmetro? Appreciate you guys, by the way. Let's get back to this game. <laughs> oh, let's uh take that window down. There we go. Boogie said something about Retropalooza. Uh, no, Retropalooza is a video game convention. Uh, the next one's going to be in Houston. And it's uh, the weekend of uh, Memorial Day weekend. And uh, Pasadena, Texas. It's like a, a video game convention. There's uh, a vendor floor. So there's like people selling games. There's people selling toys, collectibles. But then also there's like tables with like voice actors. Um, I'll have a table. Boogie will have a table. So we'll be selling like merch. Um, I'll have like books. My book that I wrote. I have a book I wrote. I'll be having it there. Boogie will probably have like shirts and merch and stuff. Damn, I died again. Um, it's just like a video game convention. So there's panels. Uh, they're also going to have like, I think one of the people who played one of the live action turtles will be there. Some of us sell games, but I'm I'm not gonna be selling them. How many pages in my book? I think there's like 380. Yeah, 380 pages in my book. Yes, I can write. I'm educated. Did it to see that eight inch air bootay. So yeah, there's Retropalooza Houston. There's Retropalooza DFW. Um, I've also gone to like Southeast Game Exchange, um, 
few other video game conventions. Books are pretty fun to write. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm going to be working on a, a novel here soon. Dude, what's going on here? Oh. I'm so fucking stupid. The only thing you're able to like is what you write on your pizza. This is such an interesting fucking game. See, I'm not stupid. I figured that out. I do appreciate everybody hanging out with me tonight. On the real, you guys are awesome. Uh, all the new people, all the old people, all the OGs. On the real, you guys are awesome. Thank you for... I've pretty much been to every convention known to man. Yeah, kind of. I've gone to Southeast Game Exchange, Too Many Games, MAGFest, E3... Pack South. Um, Southeast Game Exchange, SoCal Gaming Expo, Portland Retro Gaming. I've not been to Burning Man. Just mostly the video game cons. I'd like to go to TwitchCon one day. But yeah, I appreciate all you guys, man. You guys are awesome. It means a lot for you guys to be here. I'm grateful for every second of time that you guys come and uh, partake because it's time that you guys could be doing anything else. You could be, I don't know, <laughs> jerking off. <laughs> I don't know. After spending time with your loved one, eating, going on a date, watching a movie, and you guys are, are here vibing and, and hanging out and chilling with me. So, Are most conventions in Cali? No. I mean, there's a good amount, though, but there's a lot in Texas. If you only one con in your life, that was video games not live. Nice. I went to AVGC in New Jersey. That one was pretty cool. Does my book pair well with Christmas Robotica? I have an audio audio book version of it on Audible. If you guys want to check it out, just go to Amazon. I have um, I have uh, the I have the paperback. I have an Audible book and I have an ebook. RIP E3 and Pack South. Yeah, Pack South was awesome because it was here. Gabriel's walking the dog. Nice. Wedding cake. I could use some wedding cake. We'll be off in Peter the store for a while. Nice. I want to do a podcast, but I don't have like anybody that would like really sit down and do one with me I did go on a couple of podcasts this last week though it's been pretty wild not, not only did I do locale uh, live but I did a podcast called wall smashers and then before that I did a um, one called uh, PlayStation ain't dead and then I did another one about uh, called ants ants so I did like in the last month like four four or five podcasts. It's been pretty busy. I've been trying to do a little bit more podcast appearances and stuff. It's always pretty cool to get out and meet new people and things like that. Colezilla, I did narrate. I did narrate my own Audible. Bring back the Chodecast. I would like to, man, but who knows? Rogan Wynn, can you imagine? I'm a wrestler, author, movie star, YouTuber, streamer eight incher <laughs> which accomplishment do you think is the best one i think the eight incher is the best one right og stories can be weird and wonderful but more interesting than least i've been in movies um one of them's on tubi right now i'm about to be on another one that's coming out called simp thank you colzilla i appreciate that i don't know if you guys saw me keemstar had a 
a talk on the channel last night live. That was pretty wild. I wasn't expecting that to happen, but I posted, I posted the segment, um, about me and Keemstar talking. Um, somebody's asking the movie, the one that I'm on. If you want to order it, you can order it off of I think GameChasers.com, or you could just go watch it for free on Tubi with um with ads. Um, I'll link y'all to it. This next leak I'm posting in the chat, guys, if you guys want to watch it. I did watch the, um, I did watch the newest Indiana Jones. Here you go, guys. So, the link that I'm about to post in the chat, if you guys want to go watch, um, Adventures in Game Chasing, which the Game Chasers were in here. Um, this is the movie he directed and they wrote, and I got to be a star and role in it. It's on 2B TV. Big dicks. <laughs> Dig bigs. So if you guys want to go there, that's 2BTV.com. It's a free app. You can watch it. It's like Netflix, but it's free. You don't even have to sign up for an account to watch it, but it's free with um, with commercials. It's a pretty good movie. It's it's feel good. I think uh, it captures the essence of childhood nostalgia. What's the budget? Uh, I, I don't remember what the budget was. You'd have to ask Billy on that one. Oh, shit. Not that way. It was definitely low, lower budget because it was like a small indie, but it was still really cool to be a part of. You know what I mean? Somebody the other day said I was the worst part of it. I was like, damn, thanks. <laughs> I was like, I think you need to rewatch. I thought I was pretty fucking good. If this is y'all's first time coming here, I do stream most nights, 9 p.m., 10 p.m. Central. I'm not an actor, but I play one in movies. Nalen Palin. I was not in the AVGN movie. I was I was not in the AVGN movie. That'd have been cool. But no, I was not. Pop pop pass. No, I didn't I didn't I just wasn't in it. Have I seen the only use me blade locale? I have not. The only episodes I've checked out was obviously the one that I was in. And uh, the one that I guess they had tipster on the thumbnail. Project 7. Isn't that the DSP thing? Drama could be fun. Drama school. See, I'm a little bit up to speed with the DSP lore, lore, but I really, honestly, you could tune out of not watching any of his shit and then watch like six months later and it's still the same shit. <laughs> like, so, so that's why I really don't ever watch. It's like, it's like, y you know, you, I check all those highlights that like snort and all them post and then. Like six months later, I'll watch and I'll be like, let's see what DSP's up to. And, uh, it's completely like the same shit still. What's up, zombie? Have I ever been contacted by anyone to see Massacre? I've been on some of their videos. Um, hang on.
I seriously playing this again? Yes, you are. So what's going on here? The game's already started up, and it's like at the the worst stage well, in the history of games. Let me find it. Boosie and I already played through the game, and we got uh, all the way up to, I think it's the fifth stage. This is the hardest stage in the game. Uh, this is the stage where- Hardest stage, period. The hardest stage ever, I think, probably in any game. <laughs> um, and we're just gonna uh, try this out, and everybody here is gonna give it a shot, and just to see how terrible it is, because James has been talking about how bad this game is for years and years, but you never know until you actually play it, so. so I've never been this. Right here. So this is my segment. Oh, oh my god, what the hell? Oh! Wait, it randomizes, it randomizes yeah, enemies. Yeah. Now they're throwing yeah. dogs at you? Please. It chases, yeah, even if you get past it, it comes, it's like a fuck you. And it comes back. So you gotta, it's like a game. That's kind of impressive. It is to a degree, but to me, it's just they're fucking with you. Oh god. Oh god, oh! oh shit! I pushed jump. <laughs> okay, it wouldn't this matter, dude. It might you could be 15 actually, miles away and still gonna catch him. I pushed jump. And then the, the game just they should just made, they they should just made yeah. this the game. You know what I find funny is we, we have a room full of like all hardcore gamers and nobody can fucking know. So yeah, that was from a uh, fuck. That was 2016? Nine years ago, fuck. Long time ago. <laughs> I got into a pushing match with Justin Silverman. Yeah, that was Spoonie. How am I looking? I was looking at the ceiling. My, um, well, yeah, that's almost a decade ago. Of course, I don't have gray. Um, so when I, uh, my camera, I'm like, okay, so I have a two, a two monitor setup. Down here is the games, like when I look at the game. So this is a monitor right here where the game is on it. And then up here is my computer monitor where I have the chat, OBS, and uh, my internet browser. So I have this. So when I look up, that's me looking. So I tried to say that at the beginning of Locale when I was like, hey, guys, just so you know, if I'm, if I'm looking up, that's where my camera's at. So... That's where I do when I look when I look up here. I'm I'm like I'm literally reading the chat when I'm looking up right here. But when I'm looking at the game, it's down here. You see? It's kind of Pick up radioactive band. James is pretty cool. I've gotten drunk with him a couple of times. I'm gonna beat this boss fight. <laughs> What's up, Super Jeff? Did I say hi to you? We're at 77 likes. Can we get, um, I'm not trying to be like a little like beggar. If we can get 100 tonight, that'd be pretty fucking bossa nova. Bossa nova. What movie was that from? Yeah, there's like no space on my desk, man. When I used to have them um, horizontally, there was barely any any room. What's up, Yoki? Yeah, it's been a pretty pre whirlwind fucking week. I must agree on that. Do I blow bubbles at 100 likes? I don't have any bubbles. Um, I guess DSP has me beat on that. I should get a vest too. Vest gold. <laughs> Favorite AVGN video? Yeah, Kozel, I could see that. Uh, me and Keem talked about it last night. Did you guys catch me and Keem talking last night? Thank you, Christopher. I appreciate that. So yeah, Kim came by last night and I posted the video, but um, 
I also did a different podcast uh, earlier this week called Wall Smashers. I don't think they put it out yet, but I talked about a little bit more uh, stuff on it. Then a couple other podcasts have reached out to me. Um, I think uh, now now recording podcast. Now recording podcast reached out to me to come on. Um, there was a few others. I'm not too familiar with the commentary scene. Good night, Ruby. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. I'm not too familiar with a lot of the commentary scene, so a lot of the names and people um, I'm not familiar with. No, I, I, you could still talk about it, Colezilla, 110%. That's what I was like. I, I was telling Keem, I'm like, hey, man, I, I got on, and this dude immediately just tells me, shut up. Like, I didn't know what to, what to fucking react to or anything like that. But, yeah, it's... What's up, Stokes? Doing a strange amount of censoring on the Reddit and Twitter about... Oh, I'm not even up to date on any of that. I couldn't I couldn't even give an opinion on that. Uh-oh. Am I stuck? Oh, son of a bitch. Oof, thank God. It was an interesting experience, though. Um, you know, you thought Review Tech USA was in his early 60s? I thought he was way older than 43. I'm going to admit on that. And that's not me talking shit, because I'm only 39. He looks like he's old enough to be my dad. And I'm not trying to, like, shit talk. I mean, I guess I'm okay looking for 39. Yeah, I got a little bit grays here and there, but, you know, I, I don't think I look older than 40. Paul and Tyson fight. I'm not even going to check it out, man. Um, I don't think the Paul and Tyson fight means shit. It's, it's just an exhibition, and they're probably going to just half-ass it. And who knows, man? Stoke likes this. Games are nice. Yeah, they have stupid rules. What do I think about the Boogie and Wings fight? If I'm being honest, I made a video recapping my thoughts on it. Um, I'm surprised it went as long as it did. <laughs> Tyson, the Mike, the Tyson fight might be a good night for people to stream Mike Tyson's punch out. I love Mike Tyson's punch out. Um, I like uh, I like the Wii punch out. I thought the Wii punch out was pretty good. I've never met Wings. Um, as far as like people from that universe, the only person on Locale Live that I've met and know is Boogie. But I've I've never met Wings. I've had chicken. Oh, Nick stole my fucking joke. <laughs> WrestleMania 40 is going to be fun, dude. I wish the Hall of Fame was better this year, though. Doesn't it seem like the Hall of Fame's kind of weak this year? Weren't Didn't they announce like a couple years ago that like Batista would be joining the Hall of Fame and then like they just never did it. Would I ever box anybody? It depends. It'd have to be like a real like legit boxing like thing. box review tech you say you know boxing is done by weight class there's no way I would I would be able to box review tech what's up Samuel wait boogie posted a video of him in the bath 
Did I see Craig go nuclear on DSP? When did this happen? Is this new? Because I, I, I know a long time ago, DSP was on... Um, was on side scrollers. Is there something new going on with that? Can I restart the fucking battle? No holds barred match. Could you imagine? Is there something new going on with DSP and fucking Craig or what's going on with that? I just know that he was previously on side scrollers and it fucking didn't end well. Apparently DSP hates JKB. Um, I thought I saw something about that on um, duty. Wrestle Hell in the Cell. Hell in a Cell. You know, my favorite DSP catchphrase is, well, I guess it's not an official, official uh, DSP catchphrase because it's from Detractor. Uh, but I, I like going, I always like to go, why am I toxic? I don't know, Alejandro. I'm not trained in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. So I, I would expect you to beat me in that. DSP thinks JKB. Well, I thought it was DSP that contacted JKB. Why am I toxic? That's a pretty fair take, uh, Yoki. Favorite Chris Chan catchphrase. July, July, July. Is that a Chris Chan catchphrase? Does that pass as one? <laughs> Man, I missed the fucking Geno Samuel Chris Chans already. Well, I saw the other day Jay was saying that DSP reached out to him, so who knows what's going on. Either way, DSP is kind of a weirdo. Damn. There's no angels in long twisted story of Chris Chan, only demons. I mean, <laughs> Chris Chan's pretty out there.
birds, relax your anus. Try to relax your anus. How do you relax your anus? Can somebody explain that? Bring back fine versus swine. I, I don't talk to her anymore, unfortunately. So, uh, that, that can't happen. Let, <laughs> let it get eaten. Okay. Any thoughts on my homie P. Diddy? First of all, P. Diddy is not my fucking homie. <laughs> let's 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 get that fucking straightened the fuck out right here. Oh, you can hurt yourself? Give me a second. All right. Real quick. P. Diddy or Chris Chan or Bill Cosby. Who would you who would you uh who would you rather pick? Hang on one second, guys. Give me a second. Sorry about that. I had to get my dog. Come here, Daisy. Come say hi. Come say hi. Daisy, come here. Come here, girl. Damn it. So I was saying Chris Chan, P. Diddy, Bill Cosby, or... Kevin Spacey. I don't fucking know. <laughs> uh, out of those guys, who would you pick to uh, to let watch your drink? Daisy's your dog name? Yeah, that's my dog's name, too. She was at the door fucking barking and shit. Try to open it up and get her in. You'd pick Shady J's mom. That's great. Your shoulders. Bill, because Dee Dee might try to kill you. <laughs> yeah, I think Bill, I think Bill, Bill Cosby's the less lesser of like the fucking four evils. How do I use the?
Okay, said I picked up a fucking candy bar. How do I use it? Bad boy for life, we ain't going nowhere. I don't know much about the P. Diddy thing either, other than they're calling him the Diddler. Chris Chan and Cyrax as move. Mo <laughs> Anthony Jordan. Chris Chan and Cyrax as roommates would be a very dark web series. I'm always hearing about Cyrax, guys. Can y'all clue me in? I just know he looks weird, and I tried to watch a documentary about Cyrax. And, um, I just couldn't watch it. Clue me on. I always hear about Cyrax. I always hear about King Cobra. Beagle Mix. I was abused. Whoever had her before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. Masochist. Only Cyrax you know is from Mortal Kombat. Yeah, Cyrax is still from Mortal Kombat to me, damn it. He's a pedophile with a crooked scab infested pee. Ugh. Imagine having a scab infested pee pee. What's up, Dan Z? If you guys haven't hit that like yet, we're almost at 100, 100 likes. Smash the like if you haven't done it yet. All you know about Cyrax is what's in the dock. Cyrax is a very deranged, twisted individual. Simping ain't easy. What's up, Daryl? Don't watch King Cobra cooking videos while eating. Now I am intrigued. Interestingly enough. Am I going to watch WrestleMania this weekend? I, uh, I'm i going to have to watch night two. I'm not going to be able to watch night one. I'm going to be wrestling on Saturday, so I'm going to miss night one. I'll only be able to watch night two. This game is called High Water. I'm playing it on the Xbox Series X, but I believe it's on PlayStation steam i'm not sure if it's on nintendo switch guys but i'm playing it on uh the xbox series x i'll watch the replay but i'm not gonna be able to watch it like on night one is what i'm trying to say what i'll do is on on sunday i'll probably watch night one first before night two starts i'll probably watch them like back to back that's a lot of fucking wrestling, though. King Cobra JFS is hilarious. Uh, he has repeatedly blown off Sam Richard Jordan Stein's request to appear on LOL. Yeah, uh... I haven't seen much of Cyrax. Despite that seven hours of wrestling, you're not wrong. That's a lot. Using live I mean, push back seven hours of anything is a long time. The through the last remaining open ports. Eyewitnesses report that not only people with verified documents are being turned away. It's an interesting gate, little game, is it not? Several accounts tell of returning Alphaville outpost guards being turned away too. It is becoming increasingly obvious that Alphaville is no longer accepting anyone into the city, even their own guards. Yeah, I keep hearing about so folks, Cobra. I have to point me in the right direction. Is there like a unless you like a, a good channel that just clips Cobra, like like how Snort how about some chill tunes and Duty the clip DSP a lot? Is there like a good channel that I could just like catch up, like get the drift on Cobra? 
Because <laughs> everybody keeps keeps mentioning him, and I'm I'm starting to get I'm starting to get super curious about it. Imagine just being on that fucking little float, just playing music. Bite sized cobra and bogman clown. Okay, thank you, curls and twirls. I like that. <laughs> I like your username, man. Thank you so much. Oh, my other favorite DSP catchphrase is when he goes, hint, 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 hint. I'm fighting these big naked men. You're buying a GPD Win Mini 2024 in 12 days. That sounds very technological, Yoki. I did nothing wrong. I did everything correct. Why am I toxic? I like a penne. Ooh, easy to eat. Ah. <laughs> Daisy, you coming out, girl? Come here. Come say hi. Come say hi. I could just hear her under the table, like, snorting. She does, like, snorts. Like, you know how dogs do, like, that weird, like, reverse sneeze snort? She's all... <laughs> and I could just hear her, like, rolling on the ground and her tail wagging and shit. Oh, here she comes. Hey, girl. Come here. Come here. Let's say hi to the doggy. Hey, come on. Say hi. Your breath smells. Can I get some likes for the puppy? She's just chilling. Who's better, Daisy or Jasper Kitty? Whoa, damn, did you see that? That was a ninja fucking jump. And she's shedding. I get allergic to, like, shedded hairs. Like, pet dander and shit. Samuel said, Jasper, you can go fuck yourself, Samuel. <laughs> Yoki says three ninjas. Oh, man, I love three ninjas. What was better, though? Surf ninjas, three ninjas. Which one was the... Surf ninjas had the game gear in the game, right? Three ninjas was the one that had Rob Schneider. Or was that surf ninjas? There was a lot of ninja shit back in the day. Yeah, Jasper Cat. Isn't that DSP's cat? I'm not trying to hate on another animal, by the way. I'm just saying which dog's better. Jasper Kitty or, or Daisy? <coughs> I 
Thoughts on Dan Schneider? Man, I've I've gone through like the Dan Schneider rabbit hole recently. And you like you like I go on TikTok and you'll see like these people like showing clips of like old shows where like <laughs> like the like the little kids are showing like their feet. Or uh, I think it was I was it I Carly or was it Victorious? Where the girl ends up getting like fucking white shit sprayed all over her face. Like there was like so much shit that was like you really sit back and look at it. It's like, yeah. There was definitely a fucking pervert working on <laughs> working on this shit. Oh, that's badass. I just fucking hooked his shit. Like number two, thank you. Perfect weapon. Hmm. I don't think I've seen that. Tum Tum. <laughs> yeah, Tum Tum was the shit. DSP got butthurt after his chat insinuated they look alike. Him and Jasper the cat? I'm not gonna get butthurt if somebody says I look like an animal. I think most owners kind of look like their pets and their cars. What's up, Sweaty Gaming Productions? Wrestling practice has been going pretty good, man. Uh, we do it Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays. We have about like eight students. Um, we train them how to wrestle. We got a show coming up this week. It's pretty fun. I'm one of the coaches. Dan Schneider. Yeah, Dan Schneider is fucking weird. I tried to sit down and watch that, um, that thing about, uh, I guess like he went on that like talk show or, um, Somebody interviewed his ass. I tried to watch that, and I, I couldn't watch it, dude. Just like, uh, like any R. Kelly interview and stuff like that. I just can't. I just can't sit down and stomach it. Perfect Weapon was on YouTube. Don't know if it's still it's a solid '90s martial arts. No, I've never heard of it. I'll have to check out Perfect Perfect Weapon. Who stars in it? Anyone get rocked up at wrestling practice? Yeah, actually today some kid took a a blue thunder bomb and he fucking landed all fucking like knocked his fucking head out. You'd be insulted if somebody said your pet looked like your ugly ass. A lot of fat people letting you down lately. Damn, Gabriel. <laughs> fat people letting you down. What's up, Glenn? I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. I did nothing wrong. I should just be all DSP about it. Dude. Plays Odd Job. Oh, dude, that's awesome. It has Odd Job and Shang Tsung. Man, I haven't seen the OG Mortal Kombat in a fucking minute, dude. I like that song at the end. Um, I think it's called, it's by Holocon On and On. It's like that trance song. It's like, um, how the fuck does it go? Just look up Halicon on and on. It's like at the end of that movie, and I think it's at the end of, um... I think it's at the end of Mean Girls, also. <laughs> RTU versus 8-bit wrestling match. Could y'all imagine? 
Somebody was saying uh, Hell in a Cell. Yeah, Helicon on and on. Yeah, that's a good song. Takes me back. I used to go to this arcade that when I lived in uh I lived I used to live like in the Dallas Fort Worth area next to uh Keller, Texas. And uh there's this uh this um this free play arcade called uh Tornado Terry's. I think it's still there. I want to go before they close down ever. Um It reminds me of like that era. That was you, masochist. Do I like the game? It's okay. I think the premise and like the art design and stuff is interesting, but Dude, I remember that Mortal Kombat era, like, 95, man. <sighs> Take me back. Take me fucking back to, like, 94, 95, 96. What's this game? This game is called High Water. Yeah, the Mortal Kombat soundtrack is pretty pretty fucking lit play hell divers i don't own that i need to get it 99 1995 was great for like movies music tv alex is born in 95 man you missed out 94 was the best year ever though i think 95 was a great fucking year but 94 is fucking icing on the cake. I've watched any new movies lately. I have, I have not. Honestly, the last time I went to the movies was to watch the Marvels. <laughs> I haven't seen a movie since. Don't sleep on 96, kids. I mean, 96 was a great year, too. But if you were born in 96, you technically still... Missed out on that year. <clears throat> the Marvels, did I get a refund? No, I did not. Oh, shit. We won. All we had to do is get the thing to purge. 80s and 90s of the Golden Age. Dude, 90s were fucking awesome. I wish I was born, like, a decade earlier, though. I would have loved to have been a fucking teen. Like, I would have loved to have been, a, like, a young adult, like, in the 90s. Like, I was 10 in 94. I would have loved to have been 20 in 94. I think that would have just been such a fucking great time to be, like, a 20-year-old. Hackers was all right. You're born in 82 and you can't imagine having it much better. See, dude, I wish I was born in 74. <laughs> Pulp Fiction is fucking great. I could watch Pulp Fiction, like... Like, I try to watch it at least every, like, six months. But I could watch that, like, every week if I want. Top up with your daily fuel of I wish I was a bit taller. Yeah, that's a good song. Wish I was a, a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a rabbit in a hat. Odors and colors can be <coughs> How's it go? And boiling it will not make it safe to drink. In that regard, be mindful of where you come Fuck, I feel like I just got something. And no, nobody crack any fucking wise jokes. I feel like I just had something go in my mouth all fucked up. Like, made me HBO, fucking choke. High water pirate radio, your daily fix of Terminator 2 is up there. That's a good one. Exchange clans. It seems 
No wise guys. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fucking drink something here because my fucking my throat feels all funny. Born in '85. You watched T2 earlier. You got the game on Snap, dude. Fucking Super Scope sucked. I remember when I got it like brand new. I remember when hearing like like getting it like launch day, and I fucking took it home, played it for like 15 minutes. And back then, you couldn't tell your parents. You couldn't tell your parents this sucks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like back then, you you don't dare say, "Hey, this sucks." You you fucking you fucking kept the game and you pretended you fucking liked it. Great. I thought I had fucking water. It's room temp. If we get to a hundred likes. I'll take a good swig of this fucking vodka. We're at 93. Interesting novelty something. What's up, Vervex? Oh no, I know exactly y'all are going to do it. That's why I fucking uh that's why I fucking said it to encourage you guys to fucking say the jokes. <laughs> It's called Reverse Psychology. The one game I never had on my Super Scope was the Yoshi uh, Safari. Yoshi Safari. What's up, Nathan? How you doing? I just noticed I have a party of three now. What's the worst trade I made as a three? So when the Super Nintendo came out, actually, no, not when the Super Nintendo came out. I'm not going to be only use me blade. So I had an NES, right? And for some reason, I really wanted a Game Boy. And I was dead set on getting a Game Boy. And for whatever reason, my parents wouldn't let me have both. They wouldn't let me have the NES or the Game Boy. I wish I didn't do it because it was my childhood NES. I, uh, I pawned, went to a pawn shop, and I traded my NES and some games for a fucking Game Boy. I still have that Game Boy, but... Now that I look back, I'm like, damn, that was my NES that my parents bought me as a kid. And I just gave it away. You know what I mean? What a dick move. <laughs> I wonder where my NES is at. I wonder if it was like, if it broke, was thrown away. I wonder if it's in a random attic right now. Wonder where my original Nintendo is at. They all get a day dream. The sheep and I. No, I didn't do it behind their back. They took me to the pawn shop. I was a kid. <laughs> Go on a road trip and find that NES. Yeah, it's like the Game Chasers movie. Oh, that sucks, Power Wolf. Yeah. I hear you on that, man. I miss my grandfather. That's how you felt when you sold your first video camera? You bought your girl SNES. She loves it more than you. That's cool, man. Ooh, look at these guys. They're like space cadets and shit. We're five likes away from a hundo. Can we get a hundo? Slater Knucklehead. Appreciate you being here, man. Thank you for the dono earlier, man. That means a lot. You fucking rock. You rock.
<laughs> you traded Yoshi Story for Hey You Pikachu. Gabriel, yes, I do have a P.O. Box. It should be in the description of my channel, but I will post it for y'all. Um, Right here. Give me a second. I don't really try to advertise it. I probably should. I would like to do mail call videos, even if it's just letters and art and drawings and stuff like that and random odds and ends. Oops. That fucking didn't look that great. There we go. I don't know why it's spacing it like that, but that's the address. This game any good? It's all right, pool guy. You lost count of any systems you had. You trade some for a Game Gear. The next day the kid came back and says, Mom told me, <laughs> that's funny. I've had that. I remember uh, when I was in kindergarten, I had a friend that had a, for whatever reason, I really, he had this little like, um, like little plastic like habitat thing with like a caterpillar in it. I was in kindergarten. And I really liked his little habitat with his caterpillar. So I, uh, I forgot what I traded him for, but basically I got some, I got, I think I maybe gave him like a, to a toy, like some kind of like bullshit action figure. And I remember I took the caterpillar home and both my mom and his mom were like, you need to give it back. I don't know why, but I just really liked the caterpillar. It was like a cool little like plastic, like exhibit. <laughs> I don't know why. I just remember I really wanted this fucking little caterpillar. And my mom was like, you shouldn't have did that. His mom's going to be upset that you took it. And I was like, he said I could do it. You trade your SNES and Genesis for Magic the Carden. Koshin with Jay? I mean, he, he lives in Arlington, Texas, so that'd be a little... Little tricky dicky, but I mean it's never it's never out of the realm, like eventually. Uh did my game just fucking okay there we go. So did this game crash again? JKB's in Toronto, Canada. <sighs> I'm in San Antonio. The closest person to me is OK Chief, if you guys know who that is. Boom! Over the fucking head with the car door. You traded Kid 1ES game for 12 to 13? Wow! That's pretty fucking awesome, though. Fucking moms, am I right? Moms making us fucking <laughs> trade our fucking shit back. Dude, my GameStop was selling retro pretty long too, and I, I just I remember I had a game rush and a game a game crazy. So both the both the Hollywood video and the Blockbuster video equivalent of GameStop like within a few miles of me, and I never was like at the time I wasn't into like retro shit. I wish I was. Me and JKB should dual stream. Um, yeah, he's taught he's asked me to come on the show. Um recently but i guess right now he's still getting his footing like his feet wet with what he has right now but he's asked he's you know he's talked about it 
Oh, Casey is raw. Can I get a hashtag? Casey is, Casey is raw in the chat for that super chat. Thank you so much, man. $5 super chat. I appreciate that. That's fucking awesome. Thanks, broski. By the way, we're five likes away from a uh, 100 likes. If you haven't smashed the like, if you're brand new, by the way, if this is your, like, if you're, like, super new and this is, like, your first live stream, I usually stream 9 p.m., 10 p.m. Central most nights. If you guys want to come and check out the streams, make sure you have notifications. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you, Casey. I appreciate that. Let's be honest, Keemstar's whack. Um, yeah, he definitely has his moments for sure. <laughs> but he did come on last night. I don't know if you guys saw the video. He came on and we talked, which was kind of a surprise I wasn't expecting uh, him to come on uh, we talked a little bit you got invited on to someone else's show you're scared to go on yeah I feel you on that sometimes it's a little intimidating What's up, sniping? Sniping is fun in the house, yo. No, I didn't mute it. It should have played. It played the music. <laughs> Did you not hear it? Oh, we reached 100 likes. I said if we reached 100, I would take a squig. Ah, oof. I do not like hot, hot room temperature fucking vodka. Ugh. Get down with news from around town. Ugh. Radio. Well, oof. shopping definitely isn't what it used to be. Remember Jeez. When getting food didn't risk mm. a bullet in the face. Well, times have a No, I didn't mute it. <laughs> ongoing fighting in the third world organic grocery. I need a good uh headed in that direction. I need a good sound bite and be safe. For the for the fucking donos. Oh, that's sad. It was like a little funeral. Is there a sound bite I sh I could use? Do you guys have recommendations for when a, a donation comes in? Sweet taste of Rich's under boob. I think Rich's under boob would taste better than a hot vodka. I think Rich's under boob might taste better than hot vodka. Kaching. Price is right. Call me a talent. That would be a good one. Good idea, Webhead. <laughs> Rich is delicious. All right. That's not a sentence I thought I would ever fucking hear, but all right. Is it kind of wrong that I don't want to fight anybody now? It's like you're not gaining XP. What's the point of... What's the point of fighting... Please don't try to eat rich. I, I don't want to eat anybody except their ass. See, I need a soundboard so I could play. A, I would play an applause right there. <laughs> is this game post-apocalypse? I think so, Power Wolf. Rich is P. Diddy. Mm. Oh... Call me, maybe. It's 
So call me maybe. I forgot about that song. It's hard to look at at you, baby. But here's my number. So call me maybe. Do I have a working Game Gear? No, mine died. Um, the uh, I guess the tube, the tube, the the tube lights that I guess make the screen bright. Mine died, so it's not. It's no longer working. Rich is bad. DSP won't collab with him. Man, DSP needs to unblock me already. God damn it. My parody video of him was in good fucking taste. Yeah, I think I need capacitors. Mike Wells says birds. Seems like it's one of the first post apoc games that gets it right, so. Yeah, people make uh, little communities and stuff. Except, like, on Walking Dead, they make communities and then they fucking all kill each other. What's up, Asman? Yes, I'm great fucking friends with the Game Chasers. I hadn't seen the gaming documentary or anything like that. I don't I don't check out um Rich's stuff. No disrespect. You're mad at Jay, honestly? Why is that? He killed the DSP co stream? Nah, don't ask DSP to unblock me, guys. <laughs> Sega Stoner. That sounds familiar. Have yeah, you guys, if this is your first time being at my streams, like, ever, appreciate it. I, I stream Monday through Friday, usually kind of around this time, 9 p.m., 10 p.m. Central. Uh, if you're brand new because of all the review tech and locale live uh, drama and stuff, hopefully you guys stick around and become like a longtime viewer, first time caller. Um, I hope to have fun and make content for you guys, entertain y'all, uh, and chat it up and build a, a bigger and better community. So, uh, yeah, please, please stick around. I would appreciate that. Fuck am I supposed to go? The blind bard. It's hard to look right at your baby. Well, here's my number. So call me maybe. Whoever mentioned that song has got that stuck in my fucking head now. Thank you. Been around the Switch era. Nice. There we go. Yeah, Mike, it's easy to get stuck in here. I don't even know the fucking words, man. I just know. So, commie, maybe. It's hard to look right at your baby. But here's my number. So, commie, maybe. 
before you came into my life. I missed you so bad. And you should know that. You should know, know that. Before you came into my life, I missed you so bad. And that's all I know. Have I heard a skeet? I have not. That song is trash. I disagree. That song is a fucking bop. Justin. <laughs> Why switch light? Got the gr your switch light got the gray screen of death. Am I excited for the eclipse? A little bit. I'm a little scared though because you're seeing all these news sites tell you um make sure you have your food and water and that you don't go anywhere. Cookie Monster song call me maybe. Oh, Judas Priest is great. My favorite Judas Priest song, though, is uh, Turbo Lover. Patriot Supply, but that's exactly what they're trying to say. Start the clips and call out of work next day. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Oh, midnight living after midnight. See you later, spectacular webhead. Appreciate ya. Coochie gang. By the way, uh, while I have you guys here, I have a couple of... Uh, Things to sh share with you. A couple of uh, links I want to plug for you guys. Give me one un momento. One second. There's something I wanted to plug. I want to share the link to my Discord with you guys. If you guys want to come and join my Discord, come hang out. I got kind of a little community in there now. We're trying to bring it back from the death. My Discord was kind of was kind of dead for a little bit. What's up, Adam? I think uh Hang on a second. What the hell? Why didn't it fucking do that? Why is it? Here we go. First things first. There's the Discord. If you guys want to come in and chat in there, I'm trying to use it a little bit more every day. What you gonna do, brother, when the Eric Maniacs run wild on you, brother? What's up, Ryan? Trying to get in the Discord a little bit more often and stuff. Um, just to chill, hang out. Uh, the other thing I wanted to plug is uh, my Reddit. I've, I've had a Reddit for like the last few years, but the only thing that gets shared in there is when I share shit. Um, if you guys are into Reddit, um, there's that. Try to be a little bit more active on that as well. So the Discord and the Reddit mean a lot. You have 10 cords you need to join? Nice. ABE Nation in the house, brother. I should make like a, a shirt with the Hulk Hogan font on it that says like ABE Nation. You forgot to spell Bueller. Nice. I remember the other day you said save Ferris. You know, I think I'm done with this game for now. I think I'll just fucking kick it with you guys for a little bit. 
We'll kick it and we'll hang out. We'll chill. Download it again. It's been a while since you use it. So I do Discord through the browser. I don't I don't I don't do the phone or the download shit. American Ninja was so good. I hear you on that. Well yeah, the Reddit, my Discord. Make sure you guys check all that out. And then my Discord, of course. Thank you, Adam. I appreciate that, dude. All you guys, if y'all are new, I appreciate y'all coming back, tuning in, um, being uh, returning viewers. Wow, we got a few people in here just joining in. Nice. Nuggy Nation. Oh, thank you, DJ D. I keep always saying, I always want to say Junior. D Junior G. Cookie. Cookie. The computer's running Windows 7. Oh, geez. C is for Cookie. F locale. Well, Kimstar came by yesterday and we had a good little talk. Look at these perks. 10th anniversary pack for Elder Scrolls Online. I'll take that. I play Elder Scrolls Online. All will rest in peace. Oh, thank you, Husky. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of you guys found me through the drama and, and all that. And that's fine and dandy. That's not my usual regular content, but... Yeah, I'm 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 pretty sure there'll be a lot more drama coming, but I do other things too, like the live streams. I also do um I miss Windows XP as well. That was good times. I do uh other content, uh gaming, news, reviews, opinions. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but hey, you know what? You don't have to agree with everybody on opinions, right? Um I just like hanging out and, and talking and, and making content and stuff like that. So, what drama? Have you not been around, Bucko? Clippy was great. I used the little doggo. <laughs> I don't know what RTU is doing. I've ignored it. What's up, Dustin? I appreciate that, Dustin. How have you been, dude? Living after midnight. Rocking to the dawn. What's up, Harry? Ah, oh, dude, I'm glad. A lot of people always compliment how the Game Chaser shows help them get back into, like, the collecting and, and, and all that. So it's always good to hear when, you know, watching some of the game hunting videos and stuff uh, help people in regards to, um, I guess, becoming a little bit more confident and haggling and stuff. Living after midnight. <laughs> I'm kind of hungry again, man. I had two hot and spicy McChickens and a large Diet Coke. I'm kind of hungry again. But I've noticed I'm trying to I'm starting to pack a little bit around the midsection. I got to get back into my routine. I could drop weight pretty quick. A little sleepy? No, I mean a little bit, but I'm hanging out with you guys. I'm vibing. Taco soup. Is that the same as tortilla soup? Good night, Yoki. Well, 
What's the next big game coming out? I still haven't played Rise of the Ronin. I still haven't played um, fucking Dragon's Dogma 2. Wiener broth. Is that where somebody holds their long boner and they just pour water like on it and you have a bowl underneath catching the water as it touches like the dick? Remember Bonzi, buddy? I do not. Stellar Blade. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stellar Blade. I'd, I've been meaning to play the demo for that. Hang on, answering a comment. All right, sorry about that. Killer Clowns from Outer Space is fucking great. The best line ever is, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Holy shit. <laughs> I love that fucking line. Yeah, Stellar Blade's going to be pretty good, man. I, I like most games that come out. How much longer am I growing my hair out? I cut it, actually, uh, back in July. I had it down past my ass uh, this last five years, and then finally in July I trimmed it. I um, I donated, like, this much of my hair, like a full foot. It was so, like, right now my hair only comes to, like, maybe like right here, it was passed down to my ass. Uh, I cut it in July. That was the first time I'd cut it like in fucking five years. I think 2019 was the last year that I'd cut my hair, like November 2019. And I didn't cut it until July 2024. No, not July 2024, July 2023. So this last July, I cut it on my birthday. And I uh, donated the foot so right now I'm just I'm probably gonna just leave it where it's at. Maybe go for like a trim. Maybe even do like around the neck and the ears. Your jelly of my hair. Love the saga. Focus on retro gaming. Yeah, I mean, retro gaming's always great. Do I, games are overcomplicated. I like uh, I like open world genre games. I also really loved Rebirth. I think Fa Final Fantasy Rebirth is my favorite game so far this year, and I know the year's only in April, but I think uh, I think that was. That was a fucking masterpiece. I'm looking forward to Stellar Blade, though. Sandland's on its way, too. Toriyama's was a part of that? Interesting. I didn't know that. You're a drummer? My brother, my older brother's a drummer, too. He was in a couple of rock bands. But now that he's an attorney, he doesn't have much time to do his rock and roll days anymore. I'm ready for GTA 6. <laughs> whenever the fuck whenever the fuck that decides to fucking come out already, I'm ready for that. Need a drummer. My brother was pretty good, but his style was more like Metallica, Megadeth, uh, stuff like that. 
Metallica, Megadeth, um, that type of rock. Fury, Brad Pitt hair. I want to get a fucking sweet ass Mexican mullet, <laughs> like the Eddie Guerrero, but I don't have the fucking balls. I don't have the fucking balls at all to do it. <laughs> Nintendo's the only company that makes open world games fun. I disagree on that, but everybody has their own opinion. I think I think there's some really great fucking games out there. I just got a random fucking email. Oh, nice. Red Dead Redemption 2 is great. Online, not so much, though. Red Dead Online fucking sucked. Like, they, they dropped support on that fucking fast, dude. But I remember when that game came out. I was, I was super fucking hyped for it. Oh, thank you, Tim's. What's up, Maxim? How you doing, man? I'm just uh. What's the phrasing? I'm winding down now. This is like the cool down. You joined my Discord in 2019? <laughs> well, welcome back. If you guys dropped on on that Discord, we're going to we're gonna start hanging out in there a little bit more often and chat it up and stuff and have some fun. Hopefully everybody in there could behave. <laughs> Don't think Rumble will ever compete versus YouTube. Um, I don't know, Derek. I hope Twitter when they do the when they because Twitter teased that they would be doing um a video platform service. I hope that works. Uh, Rumble has potential, but there's no way, man. How I drop off the map for so long outside the past couple of years? What do you mean? I've didn't drop off the map. I was what's up, hypnotic? How you doing, man? I didn't drop off the map. I've been uploading almost daily and streaming and doing my own thing. It's just the way the YouTube ebbs and flow work. If the algorithm, if people aren't tuning in or just aren't watching, if there's not enough engagement, YouTube doesn't push you as much. You know what I mean? That's just the ebbs and flow of it. I've been here though. I didn't I didn't drop off the map. That wasn't like anything I did. I was always here. Sonic Frontiers just sucks, period, man. There's not like I don't get excited for Sonic games. At all. Like it's it's very hard for me to get excited for a Sonic game. It's been a while. Mario Wonder was fun. I didn't play Sonic Superstars. 
Thoughts on Metroid? I'm not a real big fan. I like Super Metroid, and I like Metroid Dread. Yeah, Jackson, I mean, it happens. YouTube wants people to regularly like, comment, and share. And if you don't, if you miss just like a handful of videos from a channel, YouTube will slowly stop recommending. Um, I've seen all that. I, I've never quit YouTube. You have to physically go and check your creators, guys, because YouTube will stop recommending you if you don't tune in to uh, a certain individual's content or engage with related videos or anything like that. So, Worst Zelda game? Oh, man. Zelda 2 definitely kind of sucks, but it has a warm place for me in my heart. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Where you're like, man, this game sucks, but it has it has a place. <laughs> uh, I think the game uh, Zelda 2 it starts off like like you quickly get to that death mountain area and it's fucking like it, it increases in its difficulty and then there's like so much like cryptic maze-like crap in the dungeons you have to have like the fairy ability and you have to have like i don't know i just i see what they were trying to do with zelda 2 i would like a remake i think that would be pretty cool if they did like a 2.5d zelda 2 remake yeah adam if you get a game you're stuck with it Triforce Heroes 3DS was fun. My favorite Zelda game of all time is Ocarina of Time, and that's my favorite video game of all time, uh, just because I have so many great memories with Ocarina of Time. Uh, Colzilla, I haven't gone anywhere, man. <laughs> Constantly on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, TikTok. I'm on, literally on every social platform out there, guys, pu putting my content on it. Odyssey, BitChute, Rumble, uh, you name it. So there's, there's literally like no way to miss me unless you just aren't subscribed. Yeah, Masochist, they changed it. I think if you just joined the Discord, your username is YT Mouse. What's up, Enraged Gecko? Good to see you here. So your Discord, if that's you, YT Mouse, that's that's your Discord name, YT Mouse. It's a random ass truck that just stopped in front of my house. I'm not being swatted. It's like a fucking big ass motherfucking truck. Oh shit, there is police lights. There's two police vehicles, but they're across the street. <laughs> I think they pulled somebody over. There's two police vehicles. Now they pulled they pull people over all the fucking time because I'm I'm close to the highway or close to the main road. I can see what's going on. Break dancing. You found me with R2U. You think you should do more reactions? Oh, yeah, definitely for sure. I used to, back in the day, do a lot of reactions to like movie trailers and uh, 
TV trailers and stuff like that. And then um, I was doing reactions to Fine Brothers content. I don't know if you guys remember, like, in 2016, I was doing uh, reactions to the Fine Brothers. And then uh, they copyright striked, like, one of my channels and one of my videos and blocked it. And it made, like, a huge fucking, like viral mess like it went viral on reddit it was like front page reddit.com not even just in a server it was like front page on reddit trending and um all these new sites and websites and different like twitter accounts were tweeting about it it was the most viral i'd gotten which is funny when people are like oh this review tech has given you the most views and anything you've ever had no the fine brothers thing fucking did uh, I gained like over 10,000 subscribers off of the Fine Brothers thing. Uh, it was pretty wild. Uh, it was when they did the whole React World thing, and it just. I should have taken advantage of it. <laughs> I should have. Uh, I should have kept the momentum, but I just. I didn't. I made like three videos about it. And then I uh, I just went back to business as usual, but it was it was crazy. I remember I remember how fucking huge it fucking went off. It was it was a crazy fucking night. I'm an Indiana Jones fan. Yeah, I mean I think classics, man. Raiders Raiders is probably the best one. Temple of Doom's a classic, but I think Raiders is my favorite one. I like all of them, but I would say Raiders. I have done a room tour, but I haven't done one since 2016 or 17. Uh, the room is totally different now, uh, and it's a mess. There's, like, no organized way <laughs> or anything with, the, with those shelves behind me. There's, like, no organized uh, way for me to, like, properly show anything. Like, those games are in front of games in front of other games. Like, those are three NES rows back. Um, I have played Lego Indiana Jones and Lego Star Wars and all that. Uh I I need a bigger space, man. I was at one point I almost was gonna rent an office, but I just can't do it at this time. I was gonna rent like a small office space that I have twenty four seven access to. Um, no more Pokemon openings. I stopped. Nobody was watching them. I have a fuckload of Pokemon fucking product though that's sealed underneath my table right here, but I stopped. Nobody nobody was watching them. You know. How long have I been posting videos on YouTube? <sighs> Since like a decade. BitChute. I get like next to nothing on BitChute. <laughs> I automatically upload on. So when I upload on YouTube, it automatically posts to BitChute and Odyssey. I have to physically post on Rumble though. What's up, Wesley? You know what I'm craving right now, guys? You know what sounds fucking great to eat right now? You know what fucking sounds good? Some fucking, like, frosted shredded wheat. Like, some frosted mini wheat or some frosted flakes or Honey Nut Cheerios. Like, a good fucking bowl of cereal right now. Or some Fruity Pebbles. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm craving some fucking cereal right now. I haven't had a good fucking bowl of cereal in a while. Pool guy says Carl Jr. Uh, we don't have Carl's Jr. in San Antonio anymore. They closed them all, which was funny because the other day, DoorDash is too overpriced, man. I don't, I don't do Door. I have cereal stuff downstairs, but I don't DoorDash. Um, and I'm not DSP. <laughs> um, this past week, last week, two weeks ago, a week ago, I went to uh, West Texas to go wrestle. I went to Midland, Texas, and they had a Carl's Jr. there. And I swear to God, I haven't seen a Carl's like in five years. And me and my friends that were driving, we were like, <laughs> we were like, oh shit, let's let's stop, let's go get it. let's get some Carl's Juniors, but we didn't. I forgot how that fucking tastes. I don't remember how Carl's Jr. tastes. 
I know Hardy's is the same thing too. Yeah, there's no fucking Carl's Juniors in the area, at least conveniently enough to where I'm at. The Carl's that was close to me, they changed into an Arby's. Which, I like Arby's, but let's be honest, they're a little overpriced, and who the fuck is keeping them in business? Like, I never see anybody at Arby's. I never see anybody at Long John Silver's. (laughs) I I never see anybody at uh, Jack in the Box over where I'm at. Though Jack in the Box by me is usually pretty fucking dead. The Long John's, never see anybody there. There has to be a money launder in front. front. <laughs> the, the Long John's by me definitely has to be a money laundering front because I don't... Who the fuck is keeping them alive? You wanted a cereal, but the Milky Body Week was bad. Haven't opened it. Got a sore throat. I've been dealing with this ear infection, guys, like all fucking week. People earlier this week were like, oh, yeah, right. You just got buried on Lil' Cal Live. You don't want to go live. That's why you're not. And I'm like, uh... Yeah, Arby's, you're keeping Arby's in business. Nectar, God, that's funny. Arby's has some good shit. Some good shit. I'm like the classic beef and cheddar. Like, give me five of those. The company's keeping them alive by proxy. So, Husky, as long as Sonic, Duncan, and Buffalo stay alive, they'll keep Arby's open. Okay. <laughs> Captain D. I don't know what Captain is. Wait, is this a dick joke? Are you going to say Captain D's nuts? Long John Silver's got bought out recently. I thought Pizza Hut and Taco Bell, the same company that owns those, owned uh, Long John's. I remember next to me, we used to have a um, an A&W Long John's, too. Like, it was, like, combined. Red Lobster's the shit. I used to go weekly. I used to go to what, a Red Lobster in Outback Steak. I would go to Outback every Wednesday, and then I would go to Red Lobster like every Friday for quite some time. But I told myself I have to stop going out to eat. I was like, okay, Eric, you, you got to stop going out to eat. No more. Cut it out. <laughs> No, Red Lobster, you can eat pretty cheap, man. You can get, like, uh, they have daily deals. On Fridays, it's, um, like, fish and chips. And I think one of those other days is, like, like trout with something or, like, a, fi- like a piece of fish with a couple of things. You can, there's daily deals, like daily lunch specials and stuff. I used to also go to Chili's all the time. That's cheap and affordable. That's interesting in Rage Gecko because I used to see them put together. I guess time's flying by. <coughs> Damn, I can't stop sneezing. That sucks, Masochist Mouse. McDonald's free fry. Fu- I mean, I eat McDonald's too fucking much. I had it. I had it today. I think I'm going to make a rule in the month of, oh fuck, April already started. In the month of May, I'm not going to fucking, <laughs> I'm not going to eat McDonald's. Let's change it. Let's just do that, right? Stop being allergic to streaming. Have you been to the doctor? I'm just sneezing. That's just like just being sneezy. It's probably just because it's dusty in here. Arby's had a revenue of $3.9 billion in 2023. And Husky, how much of that was you? Oh, dude. California's fucked with minimum wage. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, referring to my ear? No, it's much it's much better actually. I had some uh medicine and eardrops and shit. I do appreciate everybody that tuned in today, man. This is a great fucking stream. I thought you guys would have been bored of the game, but I guess, you know, the Hangout is still pretty good, right? Regardless of what game I'm playing, the Hangout's always good. You know, I'm going to pause, talk, chat. I think I do a pretty good job of reading the comments, even when it's, you know, non-super chats and stuff. I try to give everybody, like, a fair read and answer the stuff and things like that. So, I had a great fucking time, I, you know. We had 115 likes. Everybody was popping in here. Everybody was talking. If you guys hadn't seen my video from today, I posted my chat that I had with Keem. Make sure you go and check it out. Um, tomorrow I should have something better for you guys to watch, like an actual gaming-related video. But if you haven't seen my video with talking to Keem, click that link. Uh, I appreciate that, Husky. What's up, A Styles? You not toy, what? Hang on, I'm not leaving yet. Don't leave, guys. I didn't say bye. I was, t I was just thanking you guys for being here. Thank you, A-Styles. Uh, make sure you guys go to the Discord, too. No, I didn't know he was going to fucking call in. He just uh, he came into the chat, said the stream sucks, do a backflip, and then next thing you know, he's calling me on fucking Discord, so I answered it. Uh, there's my Discord. Make sure you guys join that. <laughs> You thought I was about to end the stream like four different times. That's funny, Jackson. Join that Discord right here. That's my Discord. Make sure you guys behave in it, though. And then I had my Reddit. I uh, don't remember. I had the Reddit link here. Give me a second. I've had this Reddit for like several years and like nobody's used it. So, if y'all guys are Redditors, feel free to go on there as well and comment, share posts, and memes. Memes are always good. I want to do Reddit reactions and stuff pretty soon. So, if you guys have questions or memes or anything like that. I've done live streams on Kick, man. But I, I've had, like, I tried to stream on Kick for, like, a month. And I had, like, at tops, like, five people watching. So, I was like, there's no fucking point. On this, dude. I was like, I'm not going to waste my time streaming on Kick. I, I couldn't get anybody to go over there. I even tried to do a second channel to stream on, and and I couldn't get anybody to come over. So I'm just like, fuck it. I'm going to just do it all here. Why why move you guys around and, and try making your stuff, like, you know, clicking around and shit? Just keep it in one place. I've done that before, too, Husky. I've done the multi-streaming on everything. Twitch. It was the same. Nobody nobody watches anywhere else but YouTube. So just instead of trying to do all that shit, just stay here. So later, D. Yomar, it seems like those are the most popular places, but I've seen people getting successful off of kick. It's just I nobody literally would come to my kick. Oh, that's awesome, Masochist. I appreciate that. It's probably because my name starts with an eight. So that's that's, that's good. What's up, Kingish Grumpy? How you doing, man? Good to see you.
We haven't even played Cookie Monsters. Come, yeah, I'm probably not gonna play that though. I'll probably get flagged with playing Cookie Monster. <laughs> Quit leaving, folks. Says Colzilla. Colzilla. King Grumpy says tired. Just got off of work. Well, hey, you're home now, man. You get to kick your feet up and tune in and hang out and vibe. You know how, like, when you're wearing a shirt and it feels like it's just much thicker? Like, this shirt's, like, one of those thick-ass, like, cotton shirts where it feels like your body don't breathe. Like, I'm literally fucking sweating in it. I like my fucking shirts, like, real light. Like, almost thin. What league do I play in wrestling? I'm, I'm, uh... Oh, thank you, Derek. When I twerked and danced, Bo Blacks reacted to that. I played no reaction earlier. Uh... I wrestle for a few different Texas promotions. They're they're called promotions, and I wrestle. I I help run and operate Austin Wrestling Revolution, which is called AWR. Uh, I wrestle for Fearless Pro Wrestling, Loco Wrestling. Uh, I wrestled for one called Texas Headline. There's a few. There's a whole bunch in the state. Should play more horror games. Yeah, I, I need to fucking find like a real good one to play. Do you guys have recommendations? One that I wanted to see was uh, I think it's called like fan fansmophobia or something. I saw one called something like that. Um, I thought that one looked kind of cool. What's it called? Fansmophobia, fansmophobia or something like that. I have a few. Um, but sorry, I was trying to plug in one of my Fester's Quest says Steven. That's that's a horror game. You always want to be a wrestler, but you're too small. There's no such thing as too small in indie. I'm five six and a little chubby, one ninety five, and I still do it. Favorite movie of all time? I would probably say it's. Shit, man, that's hard. I like I like Return of the Jedi, Labyrinth, Goonies, Ferris Bueller, Back to the Future, TMNT. That's tough. I wish you could look by genre. Is there a way to look up? Oh, you, you can. Okay. No? I wish you could look up by genre. Like, Like, take a look. Oh, my Elgato's messing up. Kit gave XQC a hundred million. Yeah, fuck. Give me fucking twenty thousand shit. <laughs> What's the largest crowd I've had when wrestling? I've wrestled inside the Alamo Dome, the Freeman Coliseum, the American Airlines Center in Corpus, the Dodge Arena in Hildago. I've wrestled. I've wrestled in arenas so like the Alamo Dome. So I've I've wrestled in a few thousand in front of a few thousand people before. I wish you could look up by genre. Like I wish I could just come right here and sort by genre and you could see what your horror games are and stuff. Let's see if there's anything that catches my eye that I could check that's scary for an upcoming stream. Oh wait, maybe you could look right here. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay. Horror okay. Okay, so these are some of the scary games that I have. I'm sure I have more. I probably have way more on Xbox. Well, it's not Logan that's fighting Mike Tyson. It's um, it's Jake Paul. Yeah, I don't Steam game too much. I do have a lot of games on Steam, though. Um, but my computer's just barely chugging along to, like, stream on. If I play and stream on the same computer, it's, it's a little bit more trickier. I thought I had the fucking... Um, the scary VR game. I guess I don't have it.
Huh. Like, is it called Martha's Dead or something? Toy Story 3? That's not a horror movie. I mean, a horror game. Trying to see which, maybe if it didn't pick up one of the scary games. Doom VR fucking scared the fuck out of me, guys. <laughs> that one, I remember I turned around, there's a fucking monster. Rush of Blood, when that came out, that scared the fuck out of me, too. I've been meaning to play through Bully again. I bet you I have a better selection on Xbox. <clears throat> oh, there's definitely a lot of risk and stuff. Yeah, it's definitely showman stuff, but yeah, I've had I've had my fair share of bumps and bruises and stuff. The Transformer game, I think it's kind of like the Turtles game that came out a while back. Is there a filter for genre? Where's horror? Oh, I'm definitely not going anywhere, man. I'm fucking... I'm never disappearing, ma uh, mouse. I like how cute and small the tiles are on Xbox <laughs> compared to PlayStation. Yeah, I know I have, like, um, Little Nightmares on here. Uh, there's a few scary things that I have. Transformers movies, man. The OG's great. I didn't think the first, uh, the first Michael Bay one, I didn't think it was that bad. Dead Space. I didn't finish playing Dead Space, by the way. I didn't think the first uh I didn't think the first Michael Bay was that bad and I I enjoyed the second one. The rest sucked though. Like the one that had Mark Wahlberg in it was trash. Bumblebee was okay. How come I have two different versions of oh, Feeding Frenzy 1 and Feeding Frenzy 2? Cricket. <laughs> cricket. You got to know what a crumpet is before you know what a cricket is. I'm so sad that the Friday 13th game is fucking being fucking delisted, man. I had so many good memories with that game. The Goosebumps game was so fucking bad. A moment to reflect. Burr, burr, burr. Burr, burr, burr. Cricket. Is VR Battlezone? I, uh, it was all right. I hadn't played it in a while, though. I played that when it first came out. I had enough storage for maybe one game. See, what I do is I, I anything that's like not current, I have on my external hard drive. Which is like Xbox One and earlier, and then I delete. Um, I delete a lot of games after I play them. I'm just kind of seeing what I, I don't know, man. Yeah, definitely planning on um, playing some fucking scary shit though. I think this is what's installed right now. How do you do what's installed? I just have 15 games installed right now. A Jose Canseco bat. Do I remember Army of Two? I do not. I gotta say, man, this Like a Dragon Gaiden, the man who raised his name, was pretty fun. I like that. 
Alan Wake 2, I had to finish that. I was already, like, at the end. I didn't get to finish it. Pal Rolled, I haven't even fucking touched. Why do I still have that installed? Like, I played it, like, when it was hot. Street Fighter 6, I liked it, but I suck. I haven't played these two. The show or Lightyear Frontier. Skull and Bones is, eh, forgettable. I play Madden a lot. I've never heard of Army Tour. I don't remember it. Valhalla was fucking amazing, and they added so much post-launch content to that. I should play Madden on stream? I have. I have played Madden on stream. One time I just had, like, a real chill, low-key, like, stream hangout, and I just played it. But, yeah, I think um, I think that would be fun. I, I play Madden and Fortnite, like, a lot. <laughs> I used to play Call of Duty, but this last one I didn't play. Um, when that whole Nick Merck situation went where they took him out of the game, I kind of quietly boycotted. Um, and now it's already on Season 3, so I feel like I've missed out. Like, I'm over here like... I'm over here like, uh, fuck, I've already missed out on, like, two seasons of Unlockables, so I kind of feel like I just... I don't want to play... I don't know. Favorite Steam? I don't have a Steam Deck, uh, JP. I, 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 I don't really play handheld, but a Steam Deck would still be kind of cool to have. And Rage Gecko, I had a review code with uh, Skull and Bones. You haven't played Power Road. I haven't played Destiny 2. I've downloaded it a couple times just to get like the PlayStation Stars um, missions. Yeah, I, I've been pan uh, call uh, boycotting Call of Duty. I haven't played the new one at all. Huh. What the fuck am I looking at? Okay, anyways, I just read something that was like, what the fuck? Alden Ring, I haven't touched that in a minute. Cod is too sweaty. You still play Modern Warfare 4 online? Yeah, I need to get back on a Call of Duty, man. I was having fun when I was checking those games out. I need to get back on it. You ever, like, read something and you're like, what the fuck are they talking about? Like, that just literally happened to me. I saw something, like, on a... Like, a random fucking, like... <laughs> like, group chat that I'm in, I was like, what the fuck are they talking about? Like, it just threw me off. <laughs> Sorry about that. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, man. Friday... It's Friday. It's Friday, Friday, getting down on Friday. Everybody's turned into the weekend. Call of Duty's trash now. You play... See, I tried, um... I tried to play fucking... What was the other one that came out? Battlefield 2042? That was such a fucking letdown when that came out. That one was so... I, I had so much hope for that when that came out a couple of years ago. I was like, dude, I'm going to play it. It looks awesome. And fucking... Just... 
They were literally selling that game for like five bucks at GameStop at one point. <laughs> Destiny 2's PvP experience is better than COD. What's up, by the way, Troll Sifico? Play Cookie Monster cover? Nah, 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 nah. I know you're trolling me. Eight inch Eric, yeah. I mean, I've always referred to myself as that off and on, but it's just funny now that Boogie brought it up. Which, by the way, Ace Styles, I tried to shoot you a Discord message. I think it was you. If you want to answer that later, I needed to tell you something privately. So sometime this weekend, I'm going to try to watch the new Ghostbusters. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> I plan on watching it somewhere. I plan on it, at least. If not, then I'll just watch it during this next week. Man, I got a busy fucking April ahead of me. Let me look. Boom, boom. Mm. No spoilers on anything for Ghostbusters, by the way. I'm looking forward to checking it out. I know it's probably going to be fucking some cringe. There's another A-Styles that's inside of Jay's fucking thing then, I guess. All right, no worries. I'll shoot you a message. The first Omen. I can't see Omen shit. I don't like to watch not that I'm scared, I just don't I just don't go down the fucking demon route on shit. <laughs> or I try not to. At least not at home. Like I'll go to the movies and watch something about demons. But I like, at home I won't watch anything like that. I'm just I guess it's Mexican superstition. If that makes sense. CB4. Economics class. Good luck with that, man. I, I don't miss college at all. Yes, I am Me I am Mexican, Trollsifico. I you couldn't tell? No, I don't speak Spanish. My parents and I wasn't raised around a lot of Spanish speakers, if I'm being honest. And what I do know from Spanish class and stuff, I've I've forgot. I've taken Spanish class so many times. I just know like basic conversational Spanish, but if I had to like navigate or like talk like a full advanced conversation, I would be I could understand what they're telling me, but I wouldn't know how to properly conjugate. I wouldn't be able to properly conjugate uh, what I would be saying. If that makes sense. Like, I wouldn't be able to, like, change the words properly. Like, the verbs and the nouns and the conjugation and all that. Just enough, like I could get the gist, like if somebody talks to me slow enough and they're not super fucking fast, th they'd be able to talk to me. Like they would be able to tell me something. Like it, like if somebody came up to me and asked me like, do you know where the grocery store is at? I would be able to understand what the fuck they were saying. But now you don't even need to learn. You just open your... um. You just open your Google Translate and you have them speak into it and it'll fucking translate it for you. <coughs> it 
So this is the time I usually live stream. I usually stream 9 p.m., 10 p.m. Central when I start. Uh, and then I end about 12 or 1. Depends. But 9 p.m., 10 p.m. Central will usually be like where you can catch me most nights. Most nights. So 9 p.m., 10 p.m. Central time. Uh, so just make sure you're subbed and you have notifications on. Follow my Twitter, my Discord, my everything. Because usually Discord auto, auto automatically posts and sends an alert. If you're following the live channel, it'll let you know when I'm live. Like it automatically always posts that. It automatically always posts when I put a new video out. Um, and then uh, all the other shit. That I'm on will let you guys know if I'm uploading and stuff. I'm like on every fucking social platform. Um, but Discord works. Mind trick. What's up, Pixel Castle? Before you came into my life, I missed you so bad. And you should know that. Drunk stream went hard. Oh, yeah, but that's not going to happen anymore. <laughs> Last Discord post was 324 on your end. Uh, stream post? Well, yeah, I hadn't been I hadn't been streaming um, that much. I j yesterday was like my first stream uh, back for like a week. Let me see. Give me a second. So if you go to my Discord, you'll see the 8-Bit Eric is live section. Huh. Interesting. What about in the general section? Oh, okay. Thanks for the heads up. I'm at to fix that. Thanks for the heads up, um, Jackson. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to fix that. I'm not Discordian, so it takes me a minute to to figure out that shit. Interesting. I didn't even notice that. Hmm. It does update when I upload, though, so that's good. If you look at newest video, that... Well, no, you know what? If you go to 8-Bit Eric's newest video, it does post my live streams there, but I need to make it post in the 8-Bit Eric is live also. All right, I need to figure out how to fix that. Don't pull steps during do $20 shots. I've done uh, shots for donos before but I don't I don't drink too often on stream uh yeah a styles but they come whenever he does it man he content creation's not a, a priority for for him <laughs> I mean he sends stuff and stuff but it 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 comes tippister yeah API I know that's why rumble doesn't auto post anymore rumble used to you just you used to be able to mirror and sync your YouTube channel to your Rumble, but for whatever reason, YouTube's API changed and doesn't work on Rumble anymore. I think, I don't fucking know the drama behind it, but for whatever reason, it doesn't work. But it still auto-publishes to BitChute and Odyssey, which is weird, but for some reason, it doesn't work on Rumble anymore. I don't know why. The, I feel like YouTube did that on purpose to fuck with Rumble, if I'm going to be honest. Which, by the way, I have a Rumble hat, but I don't know where the fuck it went. They sent me a hat, and um, I don't know what happened to it. I was wearing it. They want me to start streaming on Rumble more, uh, using the Rumble Studio app, but I just don't have time <laughs> to to do a stream there, too. So, I don't know. So I think I'm going to call tonight, guys. Make sure y'all join the Discord. Check the Reddit out. 
and uh, we'll start building those up, having a community and all that. But I'll probably pop in to Discord for a little bit and just chill and vibe and stuff. I know a few of y'all joined, uh, so we'll have some fun there. We'll continue the conversation just for a little bit. I appreciate y'all guys. Thank you so much. Check out my video from earlier today. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications, and I will see you guys later. Smash the like on the way out. You guys have a great one.